Hi guys, I can see everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. A very much welcome. So if you are new here, guys, come along Pili Papa. Thank you so much for tuning in to Pili Papa's Interesting Yabonga Cool for Camera Code. I would subscribe, like the video, and share it as well. And yeah, guys, please also follow me on other other social media platforms. I am Pili Papa on TikTok, Twitter. It is up underscore Togolo. Instagram, I am Pili underscore Papa. And I also have a Facebook page. It is Pili Papa's Entertainment. Please go and follow your sister, and then you like my post on quote like uh, please subscribe so that we can just type our own means to hit that 2k subscribers mark before we go to the new year 2024 so please if you haven't subscribed Gakzela, please do subscribe and help me hit that 2k subscribers mark that i'm trying by all means to make sure with that 2k subscribers mark so do me a favor and subscribe okay thank you so much in advance now let us just discuss our uh, trevor kumbi's ex-wife you guys uh, the story which our trevor kumbi's ex-wife uh, remarries and i think she gets married in zimbabwe i think so so the couple married uh, in zimbabwe uh, Russia telling us a zim uh, so the lady is um the former uh the ex-wife of uh, the committee and utreva kumbi so now let us just see here committee and trevor gumbi and he and his ex-wife and mother of his two children ulusi they separated after 11 years of marriage uh, the businesswoman has since remarried to entrepreneur Uedi dandara so the past weekend the couple declared their undying love in front of the family and friends during a traditional ceremony in Edi's hometown in zimbabwe so this is past uh this past weekend uh celebrations were fun and it was truly heartwarming to be welcomed by by the people of Murewa, Zimbabwe, Ulusile says. So the warmth and love made it easy to just be in the moment and have fun celebrating our love and union. And there are pictures there. I'm sure to have the traditional wedding and the cake. It looks so beautiful, Lucas. So a week ago, the two families celebrated in South Africa before heading out to Zimbabwe. So I don't know where to begin. My heart is bursting with joy and a gratitude. Yesterday was truly one of the best days of my life, Lucille says. So to start off, of, um my forever with my soulmate my king my forever we were surrounded by love our family and friends looked amazing seeing them all as i walked down the aisle made me cry so seeing my husband was the ultimate tear check hello thank you for giving us the opportunity to celebrate our love uh, exactly the way we wanted to everything was as we expected and more so to my husband thank you for being you and for giving me love like no other for making sure that i got the wedding i wanted even when it was not easy but uh, here we are my king we did it and there are pictures there you guys she looks so so beautiful i think she's closer because i think that is um a closer uh traditional attire if i'm not mistaken it looks so cute you guys i'm um, sure so cute okay so trevor and lucille divorced in 2017 after an 11 year marriage so the comedian said the reason for their separation was that they fell out of love with each other but continued to co-parent their two boys so during their divorce trevor also opened up about filing for a bankruptcy when he was 28 years old and how he struggled with drug addiction and how it played a part in ruining his marriage Marriage. So both Lucille and Trevor have since found love. Trevor married his sweetheart Una Ndengola, who, according to reports, played an um, integral role in his transformation. So it looks so beautiful there, you guys. Emsha Dwenaka, Trevor, Noah. So uh, I was there, Gamusa Kaula's page as well, where he was speaking about uh, Trevor Kumbi's ex-wife finding love again and getting married uh, in Zim. So it's I just wanna go back there, you guys. She looks so pretty. I think that is a closer uh yeah, I mean, so Musa Kaula said a look inside Trevor Kumbi's ex-wife Lucille uh, Slaffer's traditional wedding in Zimbabwe. Lucille Slaffer married Edith Dandara in an extravagant ceremony in um let me see here. In Bali earlier this year and this past weekend they had their traditional wedding. So Lucille Slaffa and Trevor Kumbi were married for 11 years. Since their divorce six years ago Trevor Kumbi went on to marry Unandi Kumbi and Lucille marrying Ubabu Edi Dandar. So now let me see there people saying uh, uh, under Musa Kaula's post uh, Kosa women love foreign men so much I need a study as to why <laughs> Trevor put this lady through a lot shame and glad she is happy uh, do you think Kosa women love uh, foreign men you guys? I do not know but it looks so so beautiful there 
So that is uh, Musa Kaula sharing about uh, Umshad Wagalusile. The pictures and the clips, it, it's so cute, you guys. Someone is more happy here than the other. Let me see. Uh, Trevor Kumbi's ex-wife description was very important here. And he, he, he is finally a South African. I do not know, guys. Um, do, so when you marry a South African woman, we are now a South African. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful setup and that video production is top tier. Congratulations to the newlyweds and wishing them a long lasting and peaceful marriage. Imagine she was married uh, she was married for eleven years with with Trevor Gumbi and now she gets married again. Guys, Nasi Tom Shadow, remember my name Lan Lang and Trevor Gumbi is the guy who was sent to buy milk and bread, but instead he flew to Cape Town. Uh, okay. So you can tell Eddie won't leave the house to go buy bread and win up in Cape Town with the boys. Uh, congratulations. Congratulations to them. God can restore. He is making up for giving him a first husband who was a junkie, according to how Trevor described his old self to a real man. So someone talking about the vows. To, truth be told, it's better to marry a woman who stayed in a 11-year marriage than a single woman who is in a video. You guys, like, seriously? Uh, okay, since they married in Bali, are they both uh, taking the Bali citizenship uh, or the Zimbabwean? They need the Zimbabwean citizenship, you guys. It doesn't matter whether they've got a South African citizenship, but still, uh, they have to have that Zimbabwean citizenship because the man is the Zimbabwean, something like that. Oksala also so loco and Zimbabwean, even if he can go to UK and be a citizen there, he will still be a Zimbabwean, so there is no way they can have that citizenship. So Zimbabwean uh, make um, make sure hence the hatred uh, comes across from Lipopo. I do not know what they were saying about that. While Trevor is struggling with just committing to buying bread and coming back the same day, these are people here guys talking a lot. So this is the wife he told on a date he's going to uh, the garage to buy milk. Instead, he took a flight to Cape Town and came back on. <laughs> Oh man, those vows may God bless and protect their union. Uh, that view is amazing. There's some beautiful, beautiful modimo. This is beautiful. I'm happy for her. Absolutely beautiful. The view of Tuna is stunning. These are people. Congratulations to the newlyweds. Uh, everyone saying it's beautiful and congratulations. Someone said Murura we in Shona, something like that. So beautiful. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys so girl. Uh, she gets married in Zimbabwe, something like that that and her closer attire honestly is just so uh, beautiful but anyways yeah it was on the comment section you guys uh trevor kumbi's ex-wife gets married to a zimbabwean man and their weddings look so so gorgeous it was on the comment section like the video subscribe you guys and then i meet you again on my next upload bye